ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द नम पाई ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द इंस्टॉलेशन पार्ट ओके ऑफ नम पाई Look, as you know, NumPy means numerical Python, and it is used for a basically numeric purpose. All the calculation, all the productivity can easily be done by numerical Python. Okay, it is an overall package of mathematics, right? So, here for installation of NumPy, if you have Python and pip is already installed in your system. okay that's what i am assuming because without knowing python you can't learn numpy okay so if you have already installed python and pip then the installation of numpy is really very easy okay so you can do it by two methods the first method is just in this jupyter notebook just write pip install numpy okay this is the first option and the second option is via the command prompt or the powershell let me show you uh, how it can be done in the command prompt or the powershell let me zoom it okay it zoom now so here in this uh, command prompt or the powershell whatever uh, you feel comfortable you can use you just need to write pip space install numpy okay and just press enter the all the packages in numpy will automatically get installed in your system i think within 3 or 4 minutes maximum it depend on your uh, system configuration the speed of your internet but maximum time will be 3 minute maximum okay if just suppose in any case this command fails then use a python distribution that is already has numpy installed okay because most of the time if you use vs code visual studio code then you need to install this package separately because in vs code uh, they don't have any option for pre installation right so we need to install but but if you are using this jupyter notebook like anaconda okay spider then the uh, uh, this anaconda and spider has already numpy installed in our system okay even we don't have to write this code because it is already installed in our anaconda okay so i'm assuming you have already installed okay so now let's move to the importing part import numpy p o r t import numpy okay so once numpy is installed import it in your application by adding the import keyword okay so how to do it just you need to write import numpy understood and if i'll run this then you can see no error is there it means numpy is imported it is installed okay so let's run let's run via some program so that uh, we could easily understand it is installed or not it is work or not it's working or not okay so i'll do the same thing import wait uh let's do it in this cell okay import numpy now let me use some uh, variable let me use a variable sharad okay and then i'll use numpy dot array i'll put some array and i'll print it this is the syntax okay list just suppose 1 2 3 4 5 understood and if i'll print this sharad if i'll run this it automatically get printed it means numpy is working understood now there's fun more thing you need to understand numpy 
as np which is most used look numpy is usually imported under the np alias okay this np is basically an alias and it is denoted by s okay so what is the meaning of alias alias in python are basically the alternative name of referring the same thing okay it means uh, we can use np as an alternative of numpy okay it is a short form just a short form okay so how you will do this just do import numpy and as np okay so in place of none numpy you can easily use here you can easily use np in place of numpy okay like this and p here just write np and if you will run this it's compiled without any error okay so now let's check the version also which version we are using import numpy as np okay and then print np because we are using alias dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore this is the syntax of finding the version of the numpy if you will run this then you are using the version of 1.23.25 that is the current numpy version okay so this is the basic chapter where you you can know how to install and how to import the numpy okay you need to do this whole process successfully because without successfully install you can't go further okay so first go to this process then we will move to the next chapter okay till then bye bye